Say after me. I afumba mumbotwa. I afumba mumbotwa. Do hereby swear that. Do hereby swear that. I will endeavor to the best of my ability. I will endeavor to the best of my ability. Protect. Protect. Defend. Defend. And uphold the constitution of the kingdom of Barosland. And they uphold the constitution of the kingdom of Barosland. As an inviolable law. As an inviolable law. Of the land. Of the land. And I promise. And I promise. To protect. It, to protect. The independence. The independence. Sovereign. The sovereign. And the territorial integrity. And the territorial integrity. Of the kingdom of Barosland. Of the kingdom of Barosland. And that I shall serve. And that I shall serve. The people of Barosland. The people of Barosland. Without discrimination. Without discrimination. And give the respect. And give the respect. To the sovereign Dija. To the sovereign Dija. Ngochana king. Ngochana king. So help me God. So help me God. Fellow citizens of Barosland, elder statesmen, the world at large, brothers and the sisters, and our youth, we owe thanks unto God who has preserved and protected us from the onslaughts of the evil one. Depending on his mercy, we are still living for a purpose. Fellow compatriots, for the past 50 years, Barosland was a stateless nation. This was so because somehow, somewhere, something went wrong. Really, if Barosland was a stateless nation, it means it was a nation without a state. And what may be true is that some of us kept on wondering why Barosland was stateless when there was the Ritunga, we have had the Kutas and the Indunas councillors. This gave an impression that even if we had those for 100 years or so, we would continue being stateless. Therefore, for all these years, what has been missing in Barosland was statehood. And the moment that which is missing is put in place, then Barosland ceases to be a stateless nation. I believe some may be confronted with a question, what is state? Is state money, military hardware, or handicaps? Of course not. Whereas a nation is organic, state is artificial. It is something that is formed. Nation develops naturally. Although the Barosish entered into the Barosland Agreement of 1964 in good faith, the Zambians merely intended to circumvent the Barosish in order to rob them of their sovereignty. However, Barosish should now rejoice because the time for domination and subjugation is no more. To those who are conversant with international standards, by declaratory theory, state exists the moment conditions of statehood are fulfilled. This theory is adopted by Institute of International Law. 
international usage favors this theory. Even the OAU did, or still does, even if they have changed name. State, in a simple term, are a people who are politically organized and prepared to run their own affairs. Now, Barosland is a state that deserves recognition by fellow African countries and the international community at large. Hence, Zambia must be compelled to acknowledge that they have no right over Barosland. And the people of Barosland must realize that under the doctrine of extraterritoriality, together with the doctrine of post dominium the effect of our unchallenged declaration is as follows. One, there shall be no extraterritorial operation by Zambia in Barosland. Two, Zambia have no extraterritorial rights over Barosland. Three, by the act of declaration, Zambia has no general power to pass legislation taking effect outside their own territory, or e.g. to punish crimes committed outside their realm vis-à-vis -vis abroad. There shall be no extraterritorial registration for Barosland by Zambia to encroach into the internal affairs of Barosland. Five, as a consequence of the independence of every sovereign authority, a colonizing state will decline to exercise any of the territorial jurisdiction of its courts over the person of any sovereign or ambassador or over the public property of any state dedicated to the public use or over the property of any ambassador even though the sovereign ambassador or property will be within its territory. Having said that, I wish to remind you that there is an English saying that one word is enough for a wise person. And to those who may think that there is rebellion, we wish to reiterate that we have fought for our national rights by diplomatic means and not through violence. Let Zambia be engaged in terrorism if they think they can go unpunished. Presidents, in practice, the various independent acts provided categorically that from the date of independence, all responsibility of the United Kingdom's government for the government of newly independent country should cease and that no further United Kingdom Act should extend to it as part of its law. The similar situation should apply to us. Nobody should encroach on our liberty to Congo.